Also, entrepreneurship, it continues to rise in the U.S. even years after the COVID-19 pandemic as 2022 saw 5 million new businesses form. Here with the breakdown on what's driving the shift to entrepreneurship and more. We've got Gusto Economist Luke Pardue. Luke, great to have you here with us. All right, so just walk us through this rise in entrepreneurship. What's really driven it? And what's been the net positive for so many of the entrepreneurs that are trying to just make this dream, perhaps, this venture, a new reality for themselves? Thank you so much for having me. And you're exactly right. In 2022, we saw 5 million new businesses being formed, which is uh, a spike from the, say, 3.5 million new businesses we saw formed in 2019 before the pandemic, when entrepreneurship had actually been declining for the last few decades. And at Gusto, we serve over 300,000 small and medium-sized businesses, and we surveyed those owners who started a business in the past year. And what we've been seeing is that since the pandemic, there have been a number of causes that as the economic land sh landscape shifts, the, the root causes of, of entrepreneurship have been shifting. And so in 2022, what we saw was flexibility come to the forefront as a need for entrepreneurship and starting their own businesses as a lot of demands on these employees times cause them to strike it out on their own and start a new business but also inflation has come to the forefront 41 percent of these new business owners started a business because of rising costs and what we saw was that that was up from 24 percent just a quarter in 2021 and so you know as we see these rising costs take a bite out of household budgets a lot of business owners are are shifting to entrepreneurship in order to provide that financial stability that they need. At the same time, what's interesting, Luke, is that while economic conditions may have driven people to start businesses, wouldn't it also hold them back from being able to start businesses? In other words, like where do they get the cash from to start these companies? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think it's something that a lot of economists are looking at, that 2020 was actually the first time since a lot of this data has been tracked that entrepreneurship increased during a recession. We've never seen that before. And so it's a puzzle that we're looking at uh, you know, still today. But one of the reasons that we're seeing entrepreneurship increase is that a lot of the technological barriers to starting a business have fallen. As we've seen the rise of a lot of um, uh, tech tools like apps, people can, you know, start that bakery in their kitchen. They can start that accounting firm at their dining room table. And so, you know, you don't need that brick and mortar office. You don't need a lot of the fixed costs that entrepreneurship required before the pandemic. And so a lot of these entrepreneurs are taking advantage of the disruptions, not only from consumer demand, but also just the lower barriers to starting a business. When you think about the entrepreneurs that are also going to rely on some type of funding, whether that be friends and family or whether that be going to the bank to try and get some type of loan to begin that business, has, has there been a hit on any of the entrepreneurial sentiment given the, the bank turmoil that we saw ensue mid-March? Yeah, that's a great question. And we, we actually asked these business owners just from February to March as this was happening, what, how they were thinking about the economic outlook, which they are squarely focused on. And we see a lot of them starting to increase their cash reserves. They're not necessarily hiring fewer employees. They're not trimming their investments yet, but a lot of the, the savings that maybe might've come from their, their own account or been tapped from friends and families are going into that sort of, you know, maybe quote unquote emergency fund that they're starting to increase their saving buffers a little bit to maintain that flexibility, just to see how things pan out over the next quarter, say. Do you expect to see a downturn in small business creation in this environment, considering that we're looking at numbers like interest rates going higher, but not only that, banks maybe not being as willing to lend? Sure. Yeah, we're definitely keeping an eye on how these lending standards are going to affect new business creation. But I'm actually very bullish on this trend of entrepreneurship that, you know, like I said, 2020 was the first time during a recession that we saw an increase in entrepreneurship. And I think that that dynamic between, you know, when people think it's a good time to start a business and when it might not be a good time to start a business has sort of flipped. And, you know, entrepreneurship is not necessarily now just for boom times or for even normal economic times, but it's for all people at all times. And, you know, even if we think about uncertainty in the job market right now, the nine to five employment that a lot of people relied on isn't as stable as it used to be. And so a lot of people are going to entrepreneurship because, you know, there is some risk there, but at least you have the opportunity to determine your financial future. Did you see any considerable shift or, or kind of net rise in the number of entrepreneurs that are specifically focused on what has been one of the top trends or at least terms that everybody's trying to wrap their heads around over the past six months in artificial intelligence and the new form that artificial intelligence has taken on in, in generative AI? Yeah, that's, that's a really um, an interesting point because actually we added one 
question this year, which is, you know, have these technological disruptions increased your uh, or been a reason, a factor in starting this business? And we saw particularly among younger folks that, that sort of under 25 segment, that was the largest sector that took advantage of these technological disruptions. So, you know, even as this overall landscape is shifting in entrepreneurship, younger folks are starting new businesses at higher rates right now. And they're the ones taking advantage of these sort of AI disruptions and all, all everything that's going on within technology right now, younger folks are, are getting that foot in the door in entrepreneurship because of technology right now.